This phone costs more than that car. Nous avons perdu la voiture. Oh, that that's right. My... <laughs> One minute into the video, are you going to stop? No, no, you bought the no, wrong no, car. No, no, no. That is the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, yes! Guys, I've got exciting Love. news. Love. Oh, oh, I've got exciting Love. news. Love. Welcome to Supercars of London in 2020. Happy New Year. This is a big deal. A new decade. And this is the first video on the Supercars of London YouTube channel, so it better be bloody good. Today, we're going down to Barkways to check out my Lamborghini Murcielago to give you guys the update that you want so that we know what to expect from the paint project in the next couple of weeks or so. But before we do that, I've got an announcement to make. This is a new year, a new decade. I'm feeling good, feeling physically, mentally healthy, and I'm ready to take on all of the projects that I have planned. Last year, in November and December, with the Michelin content, it inspired me to carry it through into 2020. And as you will see over the coming weeks and months, things will start to change on the Supercars of London YouTube channel. And I know there have been so many comments on pretty much every single video for the last five years to say, stop uploading and just go for quality. So that is exactly what I'm gonna be doing. And it is the first time that I've had this opportunity to actually do it. YouTube is one hell of a hamster ball rat run that you just sometimes cannot get off. But over this Christmas period, I've said to myself that I'm gonna make a change and things are gonna be different around here. So let's jump in the Ford Focus ST. Let's have a look at 2019 and some of my highlights before checking out my Lamborghini Murcielago in all black. How can we celebrate the first day of filming 2020 without taking a look back at 2019, which fundamentally changed the Supercars of London YouTube channel. There were so many big moments, but I've decided to whittle it down to as few as possible because I'm kind of over making that video of look at my year from last year, as you saw. I didn't make that video. But the Bahrain Grand Prix was definitely a highlight. Bucket list Formula One race to go to. Amazing to be hosted by the Bahrain Tourism Board for an amazing week, topped off by an incredible weekend. I got to see the moment David Beckham shook hands with Lewis Hamilton to wish him luck. It was awesome. Not only that, but I believe I created the best sounding car in the entire world. <laughs> Thanks to Fab Speed. I installed the Fab Speed exhaust to my LP640 and took it through my first tunnel run, which just blew me away. I also filmed the Novitech Enlargo 812 Superfast, which again was a highlight from going into London and checking out some of the Arab supercars from 2019. I also went to Dubai to actually go car shopping on behalf of Eurospares and myself and bought a Ferrari 458 and also took delivery of an Aston Martin Vantage, finishing the year with the most ridiculous driveway I've ever had. Vantage, 458, LP640, Focus ST, Honda CBR 650R. I passed my bike test! I didn't even like bikes at the beginning of last year, and now I love them. And I finished the year with the major achievement of having the four Michelin episodes go live, which has inspired me into this year to the point where I've made the decision I've made. But now we head down to Barkaways to give you guys the update that you have been asking for so much over the Christmas period because there is a reason why I have not seen this car for about 45 days. I know I said in the car that I had not seen this car in 45 days, but I've checked my calendar and I've not been down to Barkaway since the 12th of November. So I've not seen this car in about 60 days and a lot has changed since then. It has gone through a full polish, which is the best part of 40 hours. I will get Graham, who is out back at the moment working on another Ferrari, to go through the entire polish process because it is a vital moment. I saw it last in the paint booth and here it is with quite a lot of body panels back on the car. We've got the rear bumper, we haven't got the doors in yet, but we've also got the front bumper bonnet. This car is ready to be transported up to SB Race Engineering where the car will get rebuilt 
put back together before coming back down to Barkaways for its final detail so that it can be unveiled to myself and you guys as a 100% finished Project Lamborghini. And my first impressions of seeing this car, I'm standing right next to it and I cannot describe the quality of the paint. It is absolutely stunning. And to see it in black, all blacked out, I'm so excited to see the finished product that right now, I could not be happier with the way that this project is going. It arrived here in about October and I've documented the story up until now in January 2020 and I hope that this month, this car will be finished. Graham, happy new year. Happy good to see you, sir. Good, good. What are you working on? Can't even... Uh, oh, this one, uh, it's a 275. Okay, um, probably quite a nice Ferrari, would you say? No, 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 this is a really nice one. Um, right hand drive, probably one about 14. Oh, wow. Don't quote me on that, I'm sure you'll tell me if it wasn't. <laughs> but yeah, I believe, yeah, one of 14 right hand drive, 275 GTSs. In good company then? Yeah, yeah, plenty of How good about. does my motion look? Yeah, I'm so out. excited about seeing it. really, really well. Yeah, really proud of it. So since we saw it last, or I saw it last, yep. in the paint booth, what, it has, the what has happened to it because it looks totally different. I think seeing it with no masking tape on, the wheels, the bumpers are starting to come together yeah. now. Yeah, no, Stuart and Bay came down end of November, beginning of December, they had a couple of days, just put a few of the big parts on, just getting it ready to transport up back up there. Um, we've done the majority of the polishing. Yeah. Um, like I say, for us, with the show finish, you know, non-peel, flat paint, um, lengthy old process, especially with the black, probably about 45, 40, 45 hours. Yeah. Um, going from about a thousand grit upwards. What does that in. mean? Like when you're actually polishing the car? Yeah, you're literally scratching. You're, yeah, you're, you're taking scratching all, it. Yeah, you're taking all the imperfections, all the peel, um, taking, but it's, like I say, pretty much the top. So layer. that's why Chris does more lacquer so that he can take yeah. it back. Yeah, you're taking off probably a good, good amount of lacquer off of it, um, and especially with a thousand. Most people who took a thousand to their, you know, their car, you'll have no paint left. <laughs> um, but it's the only way you can get it. Get this to that glass flat finish. Yeah. So yeah. So it's had most of that process. Um, yeah. And um, yeah, it's looking good. I have to say, from every angle that I'm looking at this car, it just looks better and better. That's the advantage, like I say, where we were able to try and shape it up within the polyester filler that we sprayed on it. Um, like I say, most of the time we would do it with the, the actual filler, which enables me to sharpen it up. But obviously, with yours, we didn't go quite that in depth because it was, you know, it's a modern day car, yeah. and, you know, hand pressed. They're, they're pretty good to start with. But it's just meant we have to sharpen everything out just that little bit, which just gives it that, that sharper edge. Yeah. Yeah. I cannot wait for headlights, number plates, doors, bat wings, to yeah. everything go back on the car. And what happens now is this car is ready to be transported up to SB Racing. Yeah, most of the big bits went on. Um, the doors we're going to transport up separately, yeah. um, just because we've done them bouncing around without the rubbers. Um, and then, yeah, let's say Stuart and can fit it up. Um, and when it's all back together, chuck it back down, we'll give it a final mop over and a detail, which will just lift it up again, um, which and is obviously the final. Connect. Then, yeah, hand it over to you. So from our side of thing, yeah, we're all done. We're all ready, all the bits of paint and everything's all yeah. done. So we've probably got a, a day or two just to finish detailing up when he comes back and then... Mega. She's all yours. I'm nervously just gonna purge myself on the edge of this car because I don't wanna touch any of the paint. I don't wanna touch any of the bodywork, but I also don't wanna sit in the driver's seat because the only time I wanna sit in that seat is when this car is 100% done and ready to be driven. But following on from what Graham was talking about, SB Race Engineering coming down, fitting the bumpers to the car so that it was ready for transportation. Because as far as Barkway is concerned, they've done the paint, they've done the polish, it needs to get rebuilt before it comes back down here for a final detail, and then I can collect the car. But we had Christmas and New Year, which delayed the entire project. There was no point in transporting it up to SB because they didn't have all of the nuts and bolts needed to fit this car back up together. There was also a lot of rubber seals around the doors and loads and loads of miniature parts that I'm actually quite excited about because all of the original nuts and bolts that came off the car are about 10 years old. So we're gonna be fitting back together the entire car with brand new OEM nuts and bolts, rubber seals. It is going to be as if it rolled off the production line, exactly the same as with the paint as well. So I'm incredibly excited for the rebuild and there will be a full video to come documenting this car getting transported up to SB Race Engineering for the final stage of this paint project. But that is the reason why we had a little bit of a delay, which was incredibly frustrating because I had it planned that I was gonna collect this car just before Christmas. It would have made a nice Christmas present. It would have been added to the Ferrari and the Aston Martin. It would have looked nice all lined up, but 
life sometimes doesn't always work out exactly how it's planned. So with the Christmas delay in January, we're gonna crack on. I've got a meeting with SB Race Engineering tomorrow so that we can get all of the list of the nuts and bolts so that I can then go to Eurospares, do a little bit of shopping myself, get all of the bolts over to SB Race Engineering, get this car trucked up and blah, 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 blah. You know the story, but that is why this car is still down at Barkaways. Just bad timing, really. So I'm gonna carry on admiring this wonderful, beautiful piece of automotive art before cracking on and we can get down to business on what to expect in 2020. Let's finish this video off on a high because I'm excited. It feels different this year. 2020 feels different. I've never said this before because I'm going into the year physically and mentally fresh and prepared for what is to come. Last year, I came in the complete opposite. I was already tired, I was fatigued, and I just felt a little bit vacant. I don't think I had the same motivation in January last year as I do now because there are gonna be some huge projects that are taking place. I am potentially going to be setting a world record this year. I'm also going to be taking on a massive fitness challenge with a grenade that is going to be taking three months, obviously around supercars as well. There are going to be a number of road trips, huge collaborations and some exciting trips abroad. Over the next couple of months you will see this change in content, you will see little changes on the YouTube channel, you'll see little changes on my Instagram. There will be so many little things that will all piece together to create what is definitely going to be my most exciting, and I'm going to say it now, this is going to be my most successful year. Yeah. And I'm going to leave it there with the blue sky sun shining. It does not get better. Any, it does not get any better than this. It doesn't get any better than this. There's a Hyundai i30 N right there. It just doesn't. Right, guys, that is it from me. Welcome to Supercars of London in 2020. I will see you next week for the next video. Feels weird to say that, but like I said, one video a week, sometimes two videos a week. I'll see you soon. Take care. Goodbye.